Ajay. And in this video, I am going to take an interview of a PMRF research student, uh, Ashutosh. So, Ashutosh, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh, hello, everyone. I am Ashutosh Shukla. Um, I am from Delhi. I did my bachelor's from University of Delhi. I did my master's from IIT Delhi. And I am a PhD student at Aithar Pune. And as Ajay mentioned, I am a, a recipient of the Prime Minister's Research Fellowship. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what exam you gave for this PhD, uh, for getting a admission in PhD at Aizar Pune? So, for uh, getting admission to Aizar Pune, uh, I qualified the net exam. But in general, for getting PhD, I I gave uh, GATE, JESH, TIFR, CSIR, NET. I guess all the exams that uh, are out there for physics people to you know. Yeah. So apart from getting an interview from Aizar Pune, so what uh, do you, can you uh, mention any other other institutes uh, you were called for the interviews? Yeah, so I did give interviews at a couple of other uh, institutes TIFR. and TIFR, ICTS, BARC, IIT Delhi, Aizar Pune. Yeah, these are the five institutes, and I made a. I think there was one more. No, I guess okay, five yeah, only. Memory, it's yeah. not a problem. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, just thank you, thank you. And yeah, I made uh, videos of my PhD interview videos, and I'll make yeah. sure Ajay puts the link somewhere here. Yeah, but you can we can discuss this later. Yeah. So first, we let complete this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll comment interview. it in the comment box if he forgets to put it. No, no, I will uh, definitely put it because I want to. My purpose is to promote this research uh, students. So next, my next question is, uh, what was the process for getting PMRF at Aizar Pune? Okay, so PMRF uh, requires, uh, so there are two types of entries at PMRF. So PMRF, I'll say again, is Prime Minister's Research Fellowship. It gives you uh, 70,000 per month uh, starting fellowship. And that's like huge compared to 31,000 a normal yeah, a double, I won't say more than double. yeah more than double more than double the fellowship and for that there are two entries one is the direct entry where you uh, you apply when you take admission in PhD the same year you apply uh, with the proposal to the PMRF agency Ministry of uh, Education and they select sort your application and based on your research proposal and a recommendation from your referee and two other people at least one other people they decide if they are going to give you a, a ph a pmrf or not previously it used to be that they would take interviews and they would they would have centers for yeah, example they have changed, the, they have criteria. changed yes. the criteria so now it's only a research proposal and the recommendation and the cgpa requirement is 8. Uh, uh, 8. Point 8.5 8.5 okay it is for the later le entry it is 8.5 uh, direct entry it's i think 7.5 for or 8 yeah for direct entry it is 8 and yeah. for later entry it's 8.5 cool okay so what are your hobbies my hobbies oh. Yeah, yeah. I think I saw you playing uh, badminton and cricket so maybe no I don't play either of those I don't play, I mean, so I have, uh, okay, for, for you are, this, you are, you are, you, I, I forgot, like, you are, a, you play with cards, uh, you are a magician. Yeah, so that's what I was just thinking, so, like, I like to pass time mostly uh, by, in, in, like, order, oh, with, reading. Okay, okay, yeah, reading and playing cards, oh, nice. Not playing cards. So, do you want to be a magician or, or what? Like, uh, yeah. you you make a good trick with cards. So, uh, do you see yourself as a magician in, in future? Yeah. So, I did a drop year in twelfth class, and I was very fascinated with physics. So after twelfth class, I had a drop year, and you know, I got I saw this show where there was magic on TV. It's called. Uh, well, anyways, so I saw this show and I got interested in magic and then I decided to learn magic in the uh, my year gap. And that's how it started. 
so it was my you can say with the skills i have as a showman you know yeah nice i'm not not very much but yeah i think i can think of an alternate career if if you know physics does not work for me yeah, yeah. it will definitely work you can choose that as a as a like part time thing so it just it will just uh, entertain the students and other professors okay so we end this interview thank you ashutosh for having uh, for, for being here thanks <laughs>